Fox News alert and back to one of our top stories today, a dramatic about face from the Susan G. Komen for the Cure Foundation. The breast cancer fundraiser cut funding to Planned Parenthood earlier this week, saying it was because the group was the target of a congressional investigation. Then came the fierce criticism of the Komen Foundation and Komen went on the defensive. Here's its chief. We will never bow to political pressure. We will always stand firm in our goal to end breast cancer forever. We will never turn our backs on the women who need us the most. We don't just talk about this promise. We live it every day, every single day. And the scurrilous accusations being hurled at this organization are profoundly hurtful to so many of us who put our heart, soul, and lives into this organization. Well, two hours ago, they did bow to political pressure from the look of it, and now the funding to Planned Parenthood is back. Joining me now, Sandy Rios. She's the vice president of Family PAC Federal, and Jamu Green, who is the former president of the Women's Media Center. Both are Fox News contributors. Thank you both so much for coming back on. What a difference a day makes, right? I mean, this was this is pretty stunning because you you heard her. Uh, you know, the, the, that that woman runs Susan G. Komen yesterday. We will never bow to political pressure. And that's what she was trying to say was that this was not that political pressure wasn't the reason we were yanking funding from Planned Parenthood. And yet, Sandy, today, it does seem that that's what's happened here. Well, it's the cart turned upside down again, Megan, because uh, like this letter from 26 senators, condemning Susan G. Coleman for what they did, saying that you shouldn't bow to political pressure. Well, what kind of a letter is that? And I'm asking also, what do 26 senators have pressuring a private organization about how they spend their money when they can't even make a federal budget? So that's a totally, it's, they are being pressured in every way. We are witnessing an absolute shakedown of an organization that simply wants to save the lives of women through cancer research. And they've decided not to partner, they had, with Planned Parenthood, the nation's largest abortion provider. One organization is in the business of killing women. One organization is in the business of trying to save their lives. This is quintessential feminine confusion. This is the part of my gender I'm ashamed of. The emotional, the vitriolic, the foolishness uh, that was displayed in the criticisms of Susan G. Komen. When saving women's lives in breast cancer research is not related to what Planned Parenthood does, they are under investigation for very good reason. It was a very rational decision, but the irrationality uh, and the threats that we saw yeah. yesterday, I have a, the email that went out from Planned Parenthood, uh, the so-called fundraising email said, listen up, you can spend every minute of every day trying to force the rest of us to live by your ideology. You can go after federal funds, Susan G. Komen, but you know what you can't do? You can't win. You can't break us. That's a fundraising letter from well, Planned Parenthood. And, and it, okay. worked, Jimu, it, 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 it worked. I want to get Jamu in here. It, it worked because Planned Parenthood got uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars donated in the wake of this. Apparently, Susan G. Komen got 100 percent of its donations you know, from uh, the week prior. Your reaction to today's news, Jamu? Well, the bottom line is, Megan, we should all be on the same side fighting against cancer. And there were a number of groups for many years that have been trying to politicize women's health. And what we have seen is passion and outrage and support for an organization that saves women's lives and saves no, the really most dumb, vulnerable no. women. Sandy, I let you talk, let me finish. Planned Parenthood is in the business of providing critical breast cancer screening to the most no. vulnerable communities. When you look no. at especially African-American women and Latinas yes. who have higher rates of kill aggressive the most, cancers. And blacks. Sandy, let me finish. You know, Sandy, yesterday you celebrated women who are in the most vulnerable communities not having access to critical breast cancer oh, screenings. Please, and Shana. guess what? The world stood up and said, we're not going to accept this. People who care about cancer, the every family up. in America that has been the, affected the by cancer, the one up. out of five you, the women who women have visited a Planned Parenthood shout. center. I did not interrupt money. you, Hold Sandy. On. Do not interrupt me because I think what you have seen is a pushback against the type of politicization of women's bodies, women's health care. This organization okay. serves one out of oh, five gosh, women in America. 
I, you know okay. what? Yesterday I said 750,000 women have gotten breast cancer screenings. I want to correct myself. It's actually 170,000 that have gotten that breast cancer screenings. That means they went in okay. and had the doctors. Are, okay, it's better, so it's better if we have a back and forth. Both, both of you had a very, very long first answer, and now we're going to have a back and forth serves. and not talk Bravo, over each other. Bravo, America. Jamu, hold on. Bravo for humanity. Jamu, right has on. been done. Come on. Let's not talk over each other. It really irritates the viewers. And it irritates me. Uh, Sandy, listen. The, the question I have for you is clearly Komen, you know, did cave. Uh, what mm -hmm. message does, does this send, do you believe, to other donors who contribute to Planned Parenthood? Because there was an interesting piece uh, in the Wall Street Journal today suggesting the message really is you give, you better be prepared to give forever. Because you, the backlash against you, if you pull funding from a group as powerful as this, will be epic. We have already been experiencing that, Megan, and we, we talk about, as conservatives, we talk about free enterprise and the free markets. This is the opposite. When we have, we talk about politicizing, I would like to see evidence that if there was any politic politicization that was pressuring Susan G. Komen for this decision. What we see in living color is a letter from 26 senators. We see this outpouring, all these public statements, threatening them. Um, I think this is very dangerous. Susan G. Komen is a private enterprise, and they have a right to give their grants to anyone they like. But obviously, they don't, because if they give their, if they don't give their grants to people that 26 senators agree with, or these women who are such staunch uh, supporters of Planned Parenthood, again, the nation's largest abortion provider, they will be punished roundly. What of that, Jimu? Let me get Jimu away because we're running out of time, and I want to hear both sides of it. What of that, Jimu, that the message here, because you, you would agree Coleman could give its money to who, whomever it wants. It doesn't have to give it to Planned Parenthood. And people who like Planned Parenthood could donate to make up that loss, and they did. So what message does this send now to other would-be Planned Parenthood donors that you, if you're going to give once, you better be prepared to keep giving forever? Well, Megan, I think we have to keep in mind that for many years, the national right to life groups have been politicizing this and they have run a very aggressive campaign against Susan G. Komen to get them to defund Planned Parenthood. So it started way before. This, is, this isn't about political pressure to, to reinstate the funding. But at the end of the day, what we have seen is that this treasured relationship that Susan G. Komen had with Planned Parenthood and will continue to have with them to reach the most vulnerable communities, they heard from women, they heard from mothers and daughters and, and, and you, everyone who cares about a mother and a daughter, and, and, and they reversed that decision and backed away from the politics that had been put on them. The, the boycotts and the pro protests Megan, that I Sandy and her please. colleagues I, want to pretend I that have they have go. not been doing for years. So now we can celebrate that yeah. more mothers and you daughters will be saved Jean -Mou. Please, do you from know, a breast screening you know provided by Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger targeted the black community for elimination. That's an absolute the lie. Said that That's an human, absolute oh, lie, no, Sandy. Isn't. And I'm not going to sit here and allow you to spread all right. that now, type now of we've gone off the rails. Exterminated. I got to leave no, it at that. that I got to exactly leave it at that. I will tell you this: that they are they are suggesting that that the that the funding. Look you know, up. that one gives Margaret to the other Sanger. can be separated the black out. Race that you are can. human weeds. All right, I give need up. To be Listen, Sandy and Jamu, even though that was irritating, love you both. Thank you so much. Sorry, Megan. No, Thank it's all right. Know. Listen, it's an, it's an issue people feel passionate about, and I understand that. And I think our viewers understand that, and sometimes people get, you know, really passionate about it on the air. Anyway, our thanks to uh, both Jamu and Sandy.